Uh, right, now uh, let's talk about, well we'll briefly look at the pencil. Um, it's uh, just a drawing tool like uh, the brush, but it's uh, the difference is that it's a single string of vector points rather than um, an, an area of vector points. So if I draw, the, I draw a brush stroke and then I draw a pencil stroke and we select it with the contour editor, you can see that the, um, the brush stroke is an outline of points and uh, the pencil stroke is a perimeter of, uh, I'm mean, sorry, a, um, uh, is just a string of points. So uh, yeah, that's the main difference is just that it's um, a lot cleaner, the pencil line, uh, but it's very consistent. So if you, um, this might be the way you want to go if you choose, uh, if, you, if your character has a consistent outline or the line work in your, sh in your movies are, um, are very consistent um, and not brush strokey, painty, th thick and thinny and so forth. Um, in the uh, pencil options, of course, we've got the draw behind thing as well. So I can draw that, uh, click on draw behind and I can draw behind it, click off click on um, so and then there's the auto flatten as well so if you prefer to sketch just like in the brush in the brush thing you can auto flatten um, your strokes hey what's going on there that's not working <gasps> better fix that um, auto flatten shouldn't that be auto flattening it should be. Anyway, let's not dwell on that. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, auto close gap. So uh, we'll talk about gap closing and stuff uh, at a later point. Right, uh, moving on. The pencil tool is pretty straightforward. It, it also can be, if you choose a pencil tool, you can also adjust the width thickness by holding down the, um, the O key and just dragging. And you've, you can save uh, your own, you can add brushes and delete brushes and, and rename them. Moving on to one that um, we've uh, been waiting for and that's the text tool. This wasn't in the previous version of Animate um, and I'm very glad we now have it. Uh, it just allows you to type stuff which um, is very important for uh, for, pe for those of us who make movies because you know not only uh, text in the movie for like logos and street signs and book titles and things like that that you see in the movie every day um, because we are surrounded by text uh, but also for titles and credits which is uh, very important we need we want people to know who made this movie so titles and credits are something that can be quite tedious to hand draw um, or import from a different uh, from a from another program which is what we've done in the past so it's good to see that um, that we have a text tool now, so uh, um, so now when I select that, it selects it as one object. Now one thing that I haven't actually tested yet, I'm just going to uh, make it bigger. Let's go 40, no, let's go 60. Uh, that hasn't done it. So once the text is typed by the looks, um, once the text is typed, you can't change the font size. Perhaps uh, 120. No. Right. Well, anyway, that's um, that's not much of a limitation. It's uh, who cares, really. You just got to get the size right before you do. I'm just going to see the thing that I haven't tested yet, and I would like to see is if you can repaint text. No. Well, that's another thing that you have to... Um, but uh, once you start adding effects and, and paint colours, um, it'd be interesting to see uh, what effects you can come up with uh, with titles and credits. Oops. Um, I have just painted this, uh, this bit of text with the gradient. So if I choose the gradient tech editing thing, yes, I can edit that which is good to know. So, great. And just like any other element, which you saw in um, uh, 
the, the introduction to this series, you can add uh, pegs and things to, uh, you can add pegs to text, so it's just like any other layer, you can move it around, um, animate button, doink, doink, and there we go, title and credits coming across the screen. So that's great, and you can have a, like a real Star Wars effect if you wanted to. Um, let's see if you can use the perspective tool. Nope, you can't use the perspective tool on text. Right, well that clears that up. But it's great to see text, and it's great to see all the options and, and uh, things we have to play with. Um, I'm sure if there isn't already, there will be a way that we can break that text up into plain artwork so that it can be manipulated, painted, um, adjusted. What I usually do with my Brackenwood credits is I, I use a certain font and then I break the font apart in Flash and then I go in and paint my own little um, my own little touches onto the, the characters just to make it look um, not too much like a, a font that, um, that I've just ripped off the web. Right, so there's uh, the pencil and the text tool and um, the eraser is pretty straightforward so the next one um, will will the next video will just look at the uh, paint bucket and perhaps well, the paint bucket has a few options that I'd like to cover so maybe that'll be the entirety of the next video see you then <laughs>